Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super exciting video for you guys and it's also the reason that I've been a little bit on a hiatus and that is because I was waiting for my shipment to come in. I did a huge, well not huge, yes huge because it's going to be two parts. I did a huge book haul on Book Outlet. So if you want to see the books that I got from there, keep on watching. Okay. Um. All right, so a couple things before we start this video. The first thing, probably being the most important, is you guys are gonna have to excuse my nails. COVID-19 obviously has everything shut down. I cannot get my nails done. It's literally driving me insane. Just ignore them, I am sorry. The second thing is my disclaimer that I do in every single video. If you hear my Great Dane crying, she's not hurt, dying, or anything of the above. She's absolutely fine. She's just dramatic and loud, and that's just how she is. Uh, but yeah, we just, we live with it here. And lastly, again, super sorry for the hiatus, but I was waiting for this shipment to come in and I'm so, so excited that it did. It actually didn't take that long to come in. It was more so me taking forever to decide what books I wanted to order. It was my first time ever ordering from Book Outlet and originally the video that is supposed to go up in place of this video is um, supposed to be me traveling to Book Outlet and actually walking through the store and doing a vlog there. But because of COVID-19, I obviously cannot do that. Um, so yeah, I decided to just do the shopping online and get this awesome box of books. I'm very excited for it. So yeah, let's jump into it because there's a lot of books in here and I want to get through them. And yeah, we're going to go. So the first book that I have is The Arsonist by Stephanie Oaks. Okay, also a second or third or fourth, whatever disclaimer I'm on at this point. There's a lot of mystery, murder, crime books in here. Um, I thought I ordered like some contemporary happy books, but I did not. So yeah, here we go. Um, the Arsonist by Stephanie Oaks. This gave me um, a good girl's guide to murder vibes. It is a murder mystery that to, I believe high school or freshman in college are trying to solve, but along the way there is somebody who is trying to stop them from solving the murder and somebody who's giving them clues to continue solving the murder, but they don't want to reveal who they are. Um, and that's pretty much all I really know about that. I don't like to know a whole ton going into mystery books because that's so fun. Um, but yeah, it gave me Good Girl's Gu a Good Girl's Guide to Murder vibes a lot with that one. Um, I'm gonna set them down here. The next book that I have is for This Life Only, and it's by uh, Starry Cade. I believe I'm saying the name right, Starry Cade. Yeah, and it's really, really pretty. I don't know why I have this thing with blue books, but I don't, like, it's just, it's really, really pretty. It's about a boy who dies for three minutes, wakes up, and realizes that his twin brother is dead. So he now has to think what happened before the three minutes, what happened during the three minutes, and why his twin brother is now dead, how he's going to navigate life without his twin brother, dealing with his grief and his family's grief, and just a whole lot that happened within three minutes so yeah this one I don't think the book takes place in three minutes but more so uh, I believe it takes place what happens after the three minutes um there was another book that I read last year that actually took place within 60 seconds which I thought was really really cool and I thought that this book was going to be along the same vibe but then um I got it and I was reading more about it and I realized that that's not what it was but I'm still very excited to read it it sounds really cool um and also a little heartbreaking so yeah there's that one the next one that I have whoops did I break the box a little bit sorry the next one that I have is okay wait I'm gonna do that one no I'll do this one now um, A Warrior in the Wind and it's by Trisha Levenseller. I actually got this book for another video that I'm going to be doing in May or June. I haven't decided when so I'll talk more about that a little bit later but yeah I did pick this book up. Um, the next one that I have is A Study in Charlotte and it's by Brittany Cavallero and it's about the descendants of Sherlock Holmes and the descendant of Watson who both end up at the same private school but don't like each other and the descendant of Sherlock Holmes um, has literally no desire to solve mysteries at all until one obviously lands in her lap at the private school that both descendants inhabit and they have to work together to solve said mystery. I have never been like a huge gung-ho fan of Sherlock Holmes. I saw the movie when I was younger or like one of the movies when I was younger but like it was never something that was like super riveting and just like moved my soul or anything like that. But this book does have one of my favorite features and that is a mystery that takes place at a private school, um, private slash boarding school. 
I don't know why I love that setting, but I really do. So I thought I'd pick it up and give it a try. The next one that I have, I'm actually really, really excited for, and that is the Echo Room by Parker Pevy House. Pe Pevy House? I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> um, it's the Echo Room by Parker Pevy House. And it is about um, our main character who wakes up locked in a room that he has locked himself in because he's locked something else out and that something else is now trying to get in the room. So he has to remember A, what is trying to get him, B, why he decided to lock himself in that particular room and see how to stop whatever it is that's trying to get him and D, how to get out of the room safely. So that's a lot to figure out when you've literally just woken up and the thing that you're hiding from is literally trying to get into the room that you are in like right that very second. It sounds like it's gonna be really intense and super scary and it's probably gonna scare the crap out of me and it's gonna be one of those books that I have to read at my mom's house. Um, yeah, that's just, that's what that's gonna end up being. <laughs> So, but I am excited for that one. I don't know why I have so many mystery, murder mystery, crime, scary books because I am a huge chicken, but I don't know. That's just what I've been gravitating towards. And yeah, that's just, that's just where we're at. The next one that I have, I actually know nothing about and I'm pretty sure I already have it, but I don't know where it is or it's one of those books that I have had my eye on for a while, literally because the cover is beautiful and that is A Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young and all I know is it has a female viking in it and that is badass and really really cool so yeah I'm gonna read it and that's pretty much all I can say about that I'm pretty sure I have this book somewhere I know I have this book somewhere I just don't remember where I've put it um yeah I'm breezing through this because there's so many books here the next one that I have is a map for wicked girls and it is about uh, a sister's sister bond relationship thing and it's kind of like so it's two sisters that have this kind of rivalry undertone to their relationship the older sister is um kind of in the spotlight the younger sister falters to the back um and somehow they get trapped on an island and they have to figure out how to get off without killing each other first but I believe there's one other person trapped on the island with them so again a lot of things happening i haven't read a lot of books that revolve around sister sister relationships and i've never really been that intrigued to read those types of books um but this one taking place on an island that they have to get off of gave me lost vibes which again scared the crap out of me but i also really really enjoyed so i figured maybe i'd give this one a try as well and also the cover is really really pretty the next one that i have is Another one that I thought I owned, but I think, it was, again, it was just one of those books that I was like had my eye on but didn't end up buying, and that is Girls With Sharp Sticks by Suzanne Young. Okay, so on the surface, this is a book that I would more than likely really, really dislike because it's your classic YA mystery book. Mind you, it does have the setting that I love, and that is a private school boarding setting but it's an all girl boarding and from what I gather, I don't think there's a murder in here. Mind you, I could go into it and actually find that there's a murder in here. But from what I gather, it's the, it's an all girl boarding school that's like super prestigious and everything looks perfect on the outside. And then of course, when you look on the inside, everything is not perfect. Uh, the girls all have secrets. The headmaster has a secret and they're all now trying to figure out what said secrets are. Um, this is not usually a trope that I like, but the author is Suzanne Young. She is the author of the program series and I have heard nothing but like amazing things about that series and it's a series that I've been wanting to read. So I figured I would give this book a try because it's a standalone and if I like her writing then I would try and jump into the program series. Um, yeah otherwise it's not really one that I would gravitate towards to even though it does have my private school boarding setting. Um, unless there's a murder in here I it's just not one that I gravitate towards but yeah I'll give it a try anyways I'm hoping it's good because I do want to read the program series so I am hoping that I like this one and then the last two that I have in here is the Hazelwood by Melissa Albert I have had my eye on this book for a while it's a book that features generational magic I believe or a generational curse something to that extent and the cover is very very pretty I am a shallow book buyer I don't care that is how I am but yeah there's also a sequel to this book that 
I think it's out now. Yeah, it's definitely out now. Is it a sequel or a trilogy? I don't remember. But yeah, I picked up the Hazelwood. Um, I also heard, I like somewhere down the grapevine that a movie is supposed to be made for this, but obviously COVID has everything on hold. But yeah, I have that one. And then my last book is probably the one that I'm most excited to read, and that's Notes from My Captivity, and it's by Kathy Parks. It's about a girl who wants to be a journalist really, really badly, and the opportunity presents itself. I believe she is following, or she gets the opportunity to shadow a really famous journalist, and they go to Russia for a story, and they're navigating the Russian terrain, I believe, in the wintertime, which would suck if that's what they're doing um but along the way a family that was said to not exist actually does and kidnaps her and her only way of escaping is to kind of uh i don't want to say seduce but seduce the youngest son um who i'm gonna assume then becomes her love interest so there's a lot that goes on with this book like just a, a lot and i also like the idea of reading i've never read a book that sorry let me rephrase that I've never read a fiction book that has had the uh that has had a Russian setting so I'm very excited to see how that is done and yeah the idea of kind of following a journalist who gets this big break to go all the way to Russia for her first scoop is really really cool so I'm excited for this one this is probably going to be one that's higher up on my TBR list and yeah that is pretty much that's it so that's pretty much it for um my book haul i did just want to say a couple quick things about book outlet first of all the website is super easy to navigate this video is not sponsored let me get that out of the way the website is very easy to navigate there is a ton of books on there if you are a book lover and love to binge buy books the way that i do but don't want to spend a huge set of money book outlet is definitely the way to go i would recommend it to anybody especially during covid19 because the shipping process was really easy as i did i believe say before i not only live in canada but i also live in ontario which is also where book outlet is so that does i believe play a role in why the shipping was so like came so smoothly to me um but regardless it was a really fun process looking through their ginormous collection to find books it is something that i probably will be doing again in the near future but yeah i thoroughly enjoyed my experience on book outlet so if you haven't given it a try or you're weary about it i would definitely say just dive in and do it you can get so many books for such a cheap price i don't this haul i believe came up to I want to say about $65 and I got 10 books. That's literally unheard of for me. So I'm very, very happy and pleased with my experience with it. And I'm super excited to read all of these books. They all came in great condition. My only like quarrel with it would be that some of the books have this little um, sticker on it, which is obviously not a huge deal. It's just my personal preference if it didn't have the sticker, but that's a small price to pay for really, really good condition books that come at an amazing price. So yeah if you haven't tried it i would definitely recommend it and that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye